Information tonight into a weekend of terror attacks, all different in nature, but with increasingly disturbing similarities. Nine on your side's Julie O'Neill joins us after following every development this weekend. What you find, Julie? The newest thing is that they're talking to a person of interest, but not necessarily the suspect. The other big revelation tonight, both weekend explosions, the one in New Jersey and the one in New York, were detonated with cell phones. That tells investigators a lot, namely that they need to move quickly. One angle of the explosion in Manhattan's Chelsea neighborhood. We hear this explosion, and I mean, boom! 29 people injured, as investigators now say a cell phone detonated the explosive device, and they found a similar one, a pressure cooker, nearby. We now also know the explosion in Seaside Park, New Jersey, earlier Saturday, was also detonated with a cell phone that was a similar type. New York's Governor Cuomo called the blast here intentional, but rejected assumptions of a link to ISIS or others. A bomb exploding in New York is obviously a an act of terrorism, but it's not linked to international terrorism. That was earlier Sunday. Jim Hardman, a local expert in active threat response, says the new revelation that cell phones were used in the detonation tells us something important about who's associated with these explosions. That someone has a higher understanding of electronic and remote detonation of devices. You're looking at probably domestic or international terrorism. ISIS, Iranian, Al-Qaeda, any of your well-known terrorist groups have been using cell phone detonation and garage door opener detonation for years now. So does this make it more conceivable that these two explosions are linked? Yes, it does. Hardman says this also tells investigators, based on decades of patterns, there will be more detonations if they don't find who's behind this quickly. If there's going to be one detonation or two detonations, there's going to be three to four detonations. It's just a matter of time. Governor Cuomo has brought in an extra thousand state police and National Guard troops to the city as a precaution as the work week begins. We will stay on top of all developments. Craig? All right.